welcome to day eight of Crystal Cave's Christmas Countdown. Um, just a reminder, you can purchase all of these crystals in our shop. Um, and I'll post a link to that in the description box below. So let us see what we have for day eight. Okay, so today we have Malachite. And as you can see, this is a beautiful like green stone. Um, and it has... Um, like ripples in it as well it's really got a beautiful pattern which find, people find very like mesmerizing um, and the flow of the green in this crystal it's to show you you know the flow of like life force energy so it really is a powerful crystal um, in helping st stimulate that life force energy both in your aura and your body so why would you use malachite well, it's a very inviting stone, first of all. So it is one that most people are very attracted to. It's one of the ones that if you see on a stone on a table full of different crystals, um, most people really are drawn to this one. It helps, you know, with any kind of deep heart space healing. So the malachite does connect with your heart chakra, but in particular, it helps overcoming um, heart chakra blocks in relationships, you know, where you might experience a lot of anger or frustration, where there's communication blocks, which is causing um, like a breakdown in a relationship. So if you're struggling with dealing with your emotional reaction in a relationship, then this is the stone that will help you there. So, you know, you don't, uh, you don't kind of like get triggered and, you know, lash out when you are triggered. It's to help you really kind of like calm and center and just open your heart to have a more loving relationship. It's also, um, it represents nature. So Malachite represents the flowers, the trees, the roots, the plants, the earth. Um, you know, so it really is a very, very grounding stone. And because it connects to Mother Earth so much, it's also known as the midwife stone. So it helps, um, it resonates with like the female sexual organs. So it helps, you know, with menstrual um, cycles. It helps with... Um, labor so if you're going into labor it helps with like period cramps um, it helps you know if you're going through the menopause it really is a very good stone for women um yeah to help with kind of like any female problems it's also known as the stone of transformation so if you're going through huge spiritual growth or change then malachite is a really good stone for you to work with just holding it does it helps you stay calm and relax as you go through any changes especially if it's like a very intense spiritual awakening happening for you um it's also a very protective stone as in it actually does help protect you from um radiation and clears like electromagnetic pollution um so it helps it clear the pollution in the air so for example you might want this next to like your microwave um or your television or you know by your mobile phone when you go to bed um, it does help kind of like clear the pollution and help with um, yeah, the radiation from electric objects. It also helps absorb negativity. So, you know, you might just want it in a workspace, um, you know, next to your desk if you're working, you know, if, you, if you're likely to get stressed, it will help kind of like keep you calm and clear any negativity. It also is an excellent stone for traveling so i feel like this is why so many people are always drawn to malachite because it has so many different purposes if you work on planes or you fly a lot then malachite is a really good crystal for you to use because it does actually help uh, with like safe journeys and also it helps you overcome the fear of flying so if you are particularly scared of flying then you might want to get a piece of this um, which will just help you so yeah, that is everything about Malachite. And like I said, you can buy this in um, in the shop. Um, I'll post all the links in the description box below. And I will see you tomorrow for day nine.